left in the base or in this new game cycle is to kill Cinder. First, we'll level this thing up. Actually, we got to get a slab too. But yeah, then we're uh, gonna head right to all bosses. Wait, how do you do this? Do I need to put the cinders of a lord down? Is that how this works? Then you can buy the slab. Princes in DSA were definitely harder than I was expecting. I they, I'm I'm guessing they're both weak to dark. I don't really know, or resistant rather, not weak. Because I did, like, nothing to them. And let me see. Now can I get a slab? There we go. Nine and ten. Do I have any Estus? I might have a shard, actually. I have two, okay. One, two, and then... The ended bone shard I can't use yet. Can you even level when uh, she's here? Okay, again. So we're gonna get more endurance. We get 40, and then I go Vigor to 40, and then probably Vitality, because nothing else is really going to make a difference. Kill the Reverse Flame. I'll probably level up before NG+, plus, so I'll, I'll try to remember to use that bone shard. Or burn it, rather. Dude, it's the worst feeling ever is when you heal and then immediately get hit. Boom. Surprising is some transitions. Is it normally like a certain amount of health? I don't actually know how it works. Stop. I don't even know how to punish this phase. 
I think I can punish after the double spin there. But he's also healing, so that kind of sucks. Nice. Okay, he's not healing anymore. One heal, that's not good. Oh, I rolled early. That's bad. Phase one was just really bad, honestly. I got hit so many times. Maybe I have a divine blessing? I do not. He does the uh, lightning in the air. I should be able to survive, I think. Oh, that works. All right, sure. I'll take it. Could have been worse. Could have died. Wasn't a good fight, but <laughs> it's okay. It's good enough. All right, not journey two yet. Gonna level up quick. Use the bone shard. And then we'll go. I don't think I'm missing anything else. I think we're good to go. We got the deep, uh, the deep sword. So that's what we rolled for the run. Deep Karthus Greatsword. A lost curved. No longer a curved greatsword. Mm, I don't think we're missing anything else, though. Well, I guess I can sell these. Get a few more levels, maybe? No, I don't want to talk. Why did I... I don't know why I did that. I think DS2 has it. Like, actually, no, I, I don't know. I have no idea. There's no reason. May the flame guide thee. All right, journey two. Let's do it. We'll probably do early dancer, but I think we'll do Osiris and Gundir before the or after dancer. But yeah, we'll do Osiris and Gundir. I haven't really tried this weapon art. I'm gonna try it now, I think, on this fight. We are plus 10 too, right? Okay. It's 
So we should be able to finish this today. And then I'll probably do an hour of uh, that DS2 run we started yesterday, too. Crossbow one. That one's frustrating. Kind of cool, but also frustrating. I only hit that once, but yeah, sure. The, uh, the R2 is pretty cool here. The combo. Like, that's sick. The R1 doesn't have a combo, but the R2 does. I think it's probably the same on like all curved swords though, because this is the same uh, weapon art as the Executioner Great Sword. I think. I think it was. Could be wrong. The moveset was the same. I'm assuming the uh, weapon art. I keep wanting to say Ash of War. I keep stopping myself. I hate that they change the name like every game. Oh, I don't have... I can't level yet. Alright. Hi, Wall. We'll go do Dancer. Osiris, Gundir, Vort. We could do DSA, too. DSA was tough in New Game. I'm surprised. Like, I just did... I felt like I was doing no damage to him. So I'm guessing it's just a byproduct of... DSA potentially being weak to dark. I don't I don't know if he is, but it wouldn't surprise me. The answer should be pretty easy, though. I mean, she'll hit hard, but, like, she's weak to dark, so, I mean... Shouldn't be too bad. Move. Move. I'm gonna die to fall damage. I don't heal. Okay, I don't think that would've killed me, but it would've, it would've brought me down to, like, 5 HP. You drop 10 feet in this game and you take, like... Like, the fact that you take any fall damage is crazy. Like, this will probably give me fall damage. Look at that! It's like nothing! Fall damage hinders exploration, that's all I'm gonna say. That's why I, I love the way they have it in Elden Ring, where, like, you can fall pretty, uh, from pretty high distances. Like, it, I don't know, the verticality in Elden Ring is just really nice. What on earth? What on earth? Are we on earth? This doesn't look no, like no earth I've seen. Well, the architecture does, I guess, but... Certainly not this. Oh, that's unfortunate time to R1. Okay, this is already getting worse than the other fight did. <laughs> Oh, 
How, how is that not a roll? Are you kidding me? This is just late. Yeah, that one I didn't roll at all. At least on time. This is too much fun to not do. One of us was gonna die there. I committed fully to the uh, the R2 there. All right, I think we have to go back now to level up 100, almost 200k souls. Bring this to 40. It's kind of nice not having to worry about, like, stats. Like, like, uh, I don't know, scaling stats. Level health. Endurance. Vitality. That's it. Simple build. Oh, I could do more mine, too. Or whatever it's called in this game. What's it called in this game? Attunement. Because I, I probably am going to use this weapon arc quite a bit. It's pretty sick. Like, I wasn't super big in the follower saber, which is the last weapon we did, but I also, now that I think about it, I don't know if it had a follow-up to the L2. I think you could hit L2 twice, but I don't know if there was, like, another... Because, like, the damage was just bad, but maybe I uh, was missing something there. I don't know. So I, I barely ever used it. But this one, though... I don't think the damage is good on the L2 alone, but with the R2, it's pretty nice. And it looks sick. More importantly, it looks cool. Okay, surely Osiris is not resistant to dark damage, right? Or magic, I, I he will be. I know that, but we don't have a magic weapon right now. Like the jump, dude. It's so cool. How can you not like this? I whiffed. Okay, can you stop talking? I'm getting too caught up in the uh, weapon art here, man. Can't help it. That's gonna hurt. Okay, well, no blue juice left. Stupid charge. Uh, this is a bad spot to be, I feel. <laughs> I couldn't get out, dude. I was just... I was completely stuck. Just dragging me along for the ride wherever he went.
Unlucky. Like, I was just pinned. Pinned to the terrain. Between him and the terrain. For, like, five seconds. Till I died. I'm not here. You don't see me. Where'd he go? How did you land in the elevator? That doesn't even make sense. Get out, please. Don't you dare. Really? Oh, suck it. Dude, why are you, I'm not even in the arena yet and you're already attacking. Alright. I feel like the R2 is just not... Or the L2, rather. I don't know. Maybe not good to do when I'm, like, in front of him. Stop talking! <laughs> Why does he, like, have to just incessantly talk in the middle of the fight? This would be a good time for the L2, but, like, can't really do it here. Or really here, even. Or there. That's actually really good, too. This staggers really quickly. It's like those three R ones for a stagger. Cool bleed. Nice. Nope, that was it. Give me the, give me the, many, many souls. I was actually trying to go to the leather shield there, and then I remembered I had the, uh... Soul shield. Was it the shield of want? Is that what it was? It's like the throne of want. In DS2. Well, here's a Titanite skill. Forget that that exists. I feel like I'm gonna have to, when I do the Titanite scales, I'm gonna need to go to like Arch Dragon Peak probably to get them all. Or to get enough.
wonder what the worst infusion in this game is. Fire's pretty bad. Well, I don't. it's not really that bad. It's just, like, it's bad for pretty bad things, like Yorm. Fighting Yorm with fire is just disastrous. Fight it in Demon Princess, too. Like, that one's, that's a pretty rough fight. Even ODK turns pretty tough with fire. Like, just long, I guess. Miss a parry. Too far? Late? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Thought I hit it. Dude, listen to the water sounds. They just like end it really. Plays like half the sound, half the audio. It's just weird and I hate it. How much damage does this do? Right, I feel like it's better to actually go for repose here. I don't think you can parry that one. Just trying to get those back. That's all I'm trying to do there. One R1 and then a repose. That works. Oh, God. Ah, uh, I, I, uh, I was, like, debating whether or not to parry it, so I turned around slightly, and then I just didn't parry. I was, like, stuck between whether or not I wanted to run away or parry it. I just couldn't decide, and then I died.
Yeah, I, I'm like. Come on. Just let me heal in peace, dude. Okay, should be dead here. Soul of Champion Gundir. I'm gonna go grab the uh, coiled sword fragment. Then we'll go do Vort. We could do DSA too. I don't really know if I want to do DSA right now though. Okay, let's go... Actually, yeah, do that. I should have gone to the shrine. We'll go do Vort, I think. Do Vort, Greatwood. And then I'll probably do Abyss Watchers, Wolnir, and ODK, and then head to Deacons. Just so I don't forget ODK, because honestly, it's pretty easy to forget ODK. Just kind of sitting in an area you pretty much never go to. Although I guess you could say the same thing for Nameless, if you're doing like any percent. It's not like you go through Arch Dragon Peak. But, I don't know, Nameless is definitely more memorable than ODK. Oh, I missed the head. I wasn't even close. <laughs> you take frostbite if you're under him there. It's also nice just doing, like, Champ Gundir and Osiris early, because then you know you only have four optional bosses left, aside from DLC. That guy is in the floor. Pick up the thing. Oh, I didn't even know the dude on the right was actually an in, in the enemy. I thought it was just a cage. Hey God, chill out. Everything is just like tagging me. I would like to stop.
Man, Dark Spirit, Holy Knight Hondrick. What a name. Get hit by literally everything that can attack. Can you quit out when this guy's invaded? That's weird. Apparently, you can. I'm invading. Is he even chasing me? I don't think so. I don't think he goes past, like, a certain point. Oddly enough. Oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, I think this was, like, one hit in the game. Can I hit the arm, please? Oh my god, I can't hit the arm, please. Thank you. I got hit by, again, everything. Hit Magnet over here. Get out of my way. Get him. Thank you. Come on, how am I not hitting his leg? How did none of that hit? What is happening? Oh my god, I just, I can't, I can't land a hit to save my life.
One more hit. Alright. God. What a fantastic boss. Too late for the shield. I think it's too late. Alright. Well, that's okay. All right, on to uh, the Abyss Watchers. All the way in front. There's, man, they're so far away. Crazy to think of that's the next boss. I guess technically Sage you could do, but I'm not gonna do Sage yet. Like I said, Abyss Watchers, Wolnir, ODK, then Sage. One of the most ambitious runs ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I don't even know what's going to happen. But uh, I'm going to try. And not just DS3. It's it's every weapon in every game. So DS2, DS1, Elden Ring, Bloodborne. It, it's it's honestly just like stupid when you like hear it and even I think it's stupid, but uh, We'll see we'll see man <laughs> It's literally gonna take like years though to do especially the way I'm doing it But there is a good chance that I get bored or you know, just like s stop playing souls before I even get close. Or I don't know, maybe we get hit by a meteor or something and all life on Earth dies and, you know, anything could happen. And honestly, I don't even think DS3 is that bad. I think DS3 is like the shortest game, so you could, you know. If you were like really good at this game, you could probably do it in like a thousand hours, at least the way I'm doing it. With uh, New Game and New Game Plus. But like, Elden Ring is just gonna take forever. Elden Ring is gonna be like half the time, honestly. Higher probability of a meter hitting us before you're done, for real. <laughs> yeah, we don't even have DLC for Elden Ring yet either, which, you know, throw in a DLC, even, even just one, I don't know how many they're planning on, but even just one DLC for Elden Ring would probably add like 20 bosses if they're gonna keep it the way uh like open world with a bunch of dungeons and whatnot a couple main bosses and then a bunch of like open world and mini bosses i guess we'll just go vitality okay But I don't know the, what this it, it accomplishes what I like with the Souls games, which is just like using different builds. You know, like speed running to me is it's interesting to watch, but I would never want to speed run because you just run the same thing over and over and over again. Same build, same exact route. Until you either, you know, pretty much until you get bored. What? Just happened. 
definition of insanity. I think, I don't know, it, it can be rewarding, I think, and like, you know, when you're constantly PBing, getting better times, but then you get to a point where you're just like grinding for like seconds. And that's when it's like insane. I'll go this way, I guess. I really should pick up a dagger for this, though. For this and uh, the cathedral. Which is my favorite? Uh, I'd say Elden Ring. I love Elden Ring's world. I think the bosses are entertaining enough for me. And just, like, I don't know, it just has the most stuff you can do, I feel. It's probably just a factor of it being, like, the largest game, but... I don't know, it's just something about Elden Ring that I love. And I, I love all the games, but... I'd say Elden Ring is on top for me. It used to be DS1. Please stop. Most build variety for you. Yeah, I, I feel the same same way. I think the it can be hard for like a lot of Souls fans though, because it's so big, you know. I think ultimately that's what it comes down to with like people who don't like it as much. Maybe they don't like the bosses. I think that's more because of summons. It's almost like not a Souls game to me. Because like it, it doesn't have the like, you don't ever really get walled anywhere in Elden Ring. Like, there's always somewhere else to go. Whereas, like, in these games, that's not really the same thing. Not the same case, rather. Why do you play DS1 and 3 before Elden Ring? Yeah. Like, obviously the combat in Elden Ring is pretty much the same. Except now you have jumping, I guess. It's, like, the only big difference. But, like, it, it, the, it doesn't... You're not limited. Like, you don't have to, like, beat certain bosses to progress until you get like you know to 70% of the way through the game and then it kind of gets a little more linear but like that first 70% of the game that's where I'd say it's not really a souls like I mean it, I don't know it, again it's the combat the combat is the same it's just like the progression is not and that's where I think souls games and Elden Ring differ But I am very curious to see what they do next. I think Miyazaki said he's gonna... He's not done making Souls games. Like, you know, not. it's probably not gonna be Dark Souls, but it's gonna be, you know... Something more Souls-like than Elden Ring. I know they're also doing Armored Core.
Ah, tried to get the backstab. Yo, why are you going after me, dude? I didn't do anything. Hey, come on, man. Alright, whatever. They're fighting, I'm gonna fight this guy. Backstab? No? Okay. This guy just, like, refuses to take a hit. Can't hit him. Dude, that, that, that combo is so much fun. Yeah, that combo is not as that fun. His combo. Mine is fun. No backstab. Cool. I love when you get the backstab animation and just nothing happens. Ah, oh, the shield! I forgot the shield! Oh well. It's not like we really need any more levels. Like, I can't- I can't do anything but vitality, I guess. Oh, attunement! Right, I can do attunement. Alright, so Wolnir, ODK... Oh, you know what? I didn't think about it, but these, uh, not these skeletons, but the other ones that actually drop the weapon, I think, I think they do the, the Ash of War, or the weapon, I rather. They do that, I think, or something similar. All right, I keep forgetting you can just drop down. I, I only learned that literally the other day. I'm gonna get this bonfire. <laughs> 